Hello techies. Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. So let me make it a little bit pretty. Oh yeah, in my system, I don't have the option to make it pretty. So each. Okay, so this is my output file now. Work account 350, right. It matches. What we had in the messages. Version 34. We selected that as our version. Prior entry time. What is the prior entry time? What is it equivalent to? It is equivalent to last successful as of entry moment. That is your prior time. You see, 200101. That is your prior time. Current entry time is the as of entry moment. Prior effective time is the last successful effective date. Current effective time is the effective date. These are your launch parameters. So it has it in the header. It has it in the header of the XML file. Now it starts the worker data. In between the worker, this beginning and the closing tag, you have the worker information. Let me just reduce the size a little bit. So now you have the worker information. Right. So what is it? So relegibility is true. Of course. That is why we have it in the output. We have the personal data section. We have the status data section. We have the position data section. We have the compensation data section. And what about the work, the ID, and the username? You see, it is included in the output. But in the additional information section. So what does this tell us? that the custom integration service that we have created. The fields that we have included as part of that will be in the additional information section. Correct. These are two fields we included in the additional section right. In the in the custom integration service work the I, D, and username. So they got included in the output no problem. But in the additional information section. Okay. So here we, let's look at the data worker. So it starts with the summary. Which is the employee ID and the name. And then we have the personal data section where we have the first name. We wanted that last name. The gender the marriage of the status, email address, right, so the entire data, original high date position. What is the position? Business title is vice president, human resources worker type is a regular, the regular worker. Okay. Compensation. What will? Animal page, page 2, 1, 4, 3, 6 for you. One dollar. Right. So by default, the output of the code connector is going to be in an XML format.
And this is how the output looks like. All right, for each worker, we will have this worker section. Now, next worker is Steve Morgan. So we have Steve's information. XML files are not meant. XML files are not meant to be read by human beings. It is meant to be read by machines only. No, it is not meant to be read by my humans. It is meant to be read by machines. But we, since we are working with them, that's why I mean we have to look at this and try to make sense of it. That's why. That's why we are reviewing the data. Because next is what we are going to do, is we're going to transform this data. This is not the format that everybody can understand, is it? Is it the format that everybody can understand? Not right. No, we have to. We have to do a transformation on top of this. We have to do a transformation on top of this. So unless we know the structure of this particular file, we may not be able to transform it. But again, just been looking at this. It may not be easy, or it may not be. Like convenience to know what is the structure. But for that our workday also gives you in the output files. It also gives you the structure of the file. That is the worker. Dot X is T. This is a schema file. This is a schema. So if you open this up using a tool that understands X7, for example, Oxygen. Oxygen is a tool that understands X7. If you open this schema and this X7 file using Oxygen, then the XML file becomes a little bit more easier to read and understand. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.